Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. Today we're going to talk about relativity in motion. First question for you, what is my present speed right now where I stand? Go ahead and think about that one. I'll give you some choices. Is it zero meters per second? Is it 30,000 meters per second? Or is it over 50,000 meters per second? Well, if you said zero meters per second, you're correct. That is my present speed given the relativity to the floor. Where I stand relative to the floor, I'm moving at zero meters per second. If you said 30,000 meters per second, that is also correct. That is my speed relative to the sun. As we stand on Earth, we are moving at 30,000 meters per second around the sun. If you said over 50,000 meters per second, that is also correct. That is our estimated speed, and people don't even really know the actual value, but that is the distance that we are moving away from the center of the universe. So my speed is relative. I could, depending on what we're talking about and what we're relative to, Okay, well, let's look at some examples. I've got a race car. That race car is traveling at 300 kilometers per hour. Okay, that speed is relative to the track. If that race car is passing another race car that's passing going 295 kilometers per hour, the speed relative to the slower race car is five kilometers per hour. So again, relativity. Let's look at an another example. Let's say I'm on a train and that train is traveling at 10 meters per second. I am on top of that train doing a very unsafe thing. I'm throwing a football in the direction that the train is moving. Don't try this at home, okay? I'm throwing that at eight meters per second, okay? Well, the ball relative to the train is moving at eight meters per second, but the ball relative to the ground or people standing on the ground watching is 10 plus eight, 18 meters per second. Okay, so that makes sense. And this works really well at relatively low speeds. And trains and cars and me, we're all relatively slow, okay? Doesn't work so well at really, really high speeds. So now let's look at another example. I've got a train moving at 10 meters per second, and I have a headlight on that train. And that headlight is traveling at the speed of light. Okay, the speed of light is 300 million meters per second, okay? So I say, well, that's easy. I've got 10 meters per second plus 300 million meters per second, which is gonna be 300 million and 10 meters per second, okay? Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Einstein discovered, in what we call Einstein's special relativity in motion, that nothing can go faster than the speed of light. So that light coming out of the front of the train, no matter how fast that train is going, if it's going half the speed of light or if it's going 200 kilometers an hour, that light is traveling at the same speed. So these are the ways we work with uh, relativity in motion. And by two, I can't do this with you two laughing back there. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah. 